and of course we have again substitution rule let's say t is equal to e to the power x plus 1 let's rename the inside of logarithm ln function okay let's use this substitution rule be careful if you use substitution rule we have to be careful about the boundaries of integration so we will have new boundaries for x equals 0 for x equals 0 for the lower bound t becomes e to the power 0 plus 1 which is 2 for this upper bound for x equals ln 2 t becomes e to the power ln 2 e to the power ln 2 plus 1 e to the power ln 2 is 2 which is the answer is 3 okay so uh, this integral becomes integral from 2 to 3 2 to 3 okay uh, e to the so if t is e to the power x plus 1 dt becomes e to the power x dx so e to the power x dx e to the power x dx becomes dt becomes dt okay and ln e to the power x plus 1 becomes ln t ln t so i think i solved this problem before what is the integral of ln t let me directly write the answer the parentheses of t we have ln t minus 1 okay i think it is the it is the answer of this integral so we have the boundaries do not forget to write the boundaries from 2 to 3 if you plug the boundaries of integration to this expression you have 3 3 ln 3 minus 2 and minus 2 and then 2 minus 1 finally okay i think uh, we solved the problem but uh, of course uh, if we, if it's it's possible to have uh, another way uh, for the definite integrals if we especially use um, if we especially use substitution rule so uh, it's possible to not write these uh, transformations uh, and finally use the same boundary okay so what about the next question integral from 1 to e sine of ln x so how do you solve this question I think it's good uh, again uh, to start with a substitution. Let's say u is equal to u is equal to ln x. Okay, then du becomes dx over x, dx over x. So and x is of course x is equal to e to the power u. Okay, if you take the exponential of both sides x is equal to u to the power e to the power u okay so how do we convert this problem what about the boundaries of integration do not write do not forget to write boundaries of integration for x equals 1 for x equals 1 u is ln 1 which is 0 x is equal to e e in this case u is equal to 1 so integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 sine ln x dx instead of ln x we have u so we have sine u sine u sine u what about the expression instead of dx since dx is since the x is x times du and x is e to the power u we have e to the power u du so i think we are now ready to um, apply integration by parts techniques 
to this question let's say w is sine u sine u in this case the w becomes the w if you differentiate both sides you have cosine u du du sorry not the w du okay and the rest is dv what is the rest in this question the rest is dv since sine u is w the rest is e to the power u e to the power u du then v if you integrate both sides of this equality v becomes e to the power u okay since e to the uh, e to the power u is the derivative of itself now i think we are now ready to use uh, the formula of integration by parts so this is equal to this integral is equal to u times v e to the power u times sine u of course w times v in this case minus integral v times dw e to the power u dw cosine u du okay now again for this problem for this integral we will use integration by parts techniques repeating the integration by parts for the last integral w if we say w is cosine u dw of course is sine u du dv is the rest again e to the power u du and v is the function itself now i want to focus on the last term the last integral okay so the last integral do not forget to write the boundaries of integration integral from 0 to 1 e to the power e to the power u cosine u du is equal to v times w e to the power u cosine u minus v times the w integral from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 e to the power u sine u du okay sine u du now i think we solve the problem now i think we solve the problem let's say let's say integral sine u exponential u let me call this integral as i okay i and and as you see we have another i here okay so what do we have i is equal to let's use the boundaries of integration e sine 1 sine 1 minus e to the power 0 sine 0 okay and instead of this one instead of this one we have this expression so minus e to the power 1 cosine u cosine 1 minus minus plus e to the power 0 cosine 0 and finally another i another i here okay so let me continue to solve the problem 2i 
is equal to if you take the parentheses of e you have if you take the parentheses of e e you have what the parentheses of sine 1 plus minus minus cosine 1 cosine 1 okay sine 0 is 0 and uh, plus cosine 0 is 1 plus 1 so we have i is equal to sine the parentheses of e sine 1 minus cosine 1 plus 1 over 2 I I don't know if it's right I'm not so sure but I think it is right and do not forget that I is the integral itself okay I is the integral itself so we solve the problem uh, I first uh, how how I as, how, uh, how I solve the problem I first use uh, substitution rule then apply the integration by parts twice.